Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to take a quick look at auto material transfer from Character Creator 3 to Unreal Engine 4. So we're going to take a look at some of the material parameters in Character Creator 3 and how those are transferred into uh, UE4 um, just to kind of uh, match, matching all the parameters up and so you can kind of have a better idea of what kind of uh, values you're going to be able to edit in Unreal Engine 4 that replace the values from Character Creator 3. So I have this image right here that I kind of show you an example of that. You can see in on Character Creator 3 on the right we have the strength uh, so we're looking at a base uh, skin head uh, texture for diffuse. You can see on the left Unreal image there. Um, so all those parameters like the base color strength, that's representative of the strength slider uh, for your uh, base color map in iClone or in Character Creator 3 rather. And the offset and tiling are all represented there in Unreal Engine 4 on the left as well. We'll get into a bit more detail on this uh, as we move along here. The first thing we want to do is take a look at our, our sweater our character is wearing. This is going to be our main uh, area of focus here. And let's go up to like the materials. So the base color map, for example, if we want to you know, adjust the base color map, um, maybe take the strength down a little bit from that, uh, down to like 75 or something, for example, make it a bit grayer, a bit less uh, bold. Uh, we can also go down to the diffuse color down here in material settings. Okay, and we can change that. Let's just pick a screen color. Let's pick a nice green uh, um, character creator 3 color there as well. And there you go, we have this nice green looking, beautiful green looking sweater right there. Now, if we wanted to import this into Unreal Engine 4, you know, we'd have to uh, adjust those values in Unreal Engine 4 as well. Um, but we, now that we have a JSON file, we don't need to do that. Um, a JSON file is basically available due to the limitations of an FBX file when you export um, your materials. Uh, you can't, uh, doesn't contain all the material information that you, that you might need. Um, so you can also use a JSON file to uh, to adjust that. We'll talk about that in just a moment here. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the diffuse color back to normal here, back to our regular white there, and uh, and strength for the base color map up to 100% opacity. And let's go ahead and export this uh, this character with his beautiful brown sweater into uh, uh, FBX format. Okay, so we go to FBX. Uh, we're going to choose an Unreal uh, preset. I'll just use the current pose. Okay, for my uh, motion, make sure we delete hidden face. Nothing too complicated there. Let's go ahead and export it. Let's go to find our uh, folder here. Let's just export it to the desktop. Let's create a folder called uh, Dude. Okay, so we have no other folders called Dude. No, let's call this guy Dude. Fantastic. And that'll export to FBX format. And once I'll, once you come back, I'll take a look at the uh, the di uh, JSON file rather, not the JSON file, the JSON file. And how that uh, those values are represented in the JSON file when you import into Unreal Engine 4. All right, so once everything is exported, we can go to uh, find our uh, Explorer folder here on, into the desktop, and we'll have the Dude folder. So in the Dude folder, we'll have the uh, .fbm uh, subfolder here with all the uh, diffuse maps and normal maps, um, and opacity for uh, all the different uh, body parts here for your character's uh, body skin mesh. Okay. And uh, you can also go down here to the textures folder. And in textures folder, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Dude himself, for example. Uh, these are the base body maps. You'll see all the all the PBR folders here. Okay, so these are new shaders uh, that go into Unreal Engine 4. Um, uh, materials, rather, textures for the new shaders. If we take a look at the head, for example. You'll see we have, we'll have an ORM uh, material right here, or texture right here. And this contains data for the ambient occlusion, metallic, and roughness maps. Okay, right here. So... Very useful. Uh, all the other uh, body ones will have it as well. So you can see the leg texture here as well. And uh, the arm, for example, they'll all have this ORM folder here. Or not ORM, ORM uh, texture map. Okay, we'll go back to Dude here, to the main folder. You'll see we'll also have what's called a JSON file here. Okay, so a JSON file is uh, contains the data for all the materials that we exported. So what I can do is I can just right click that and open with, uh, you know, Generally, you can open it with uh, your your code editing software, whichever one you're using. I just have Word WordPad selected for simplicity's sake here, and let's find that. Uh, let's go press Control F there, and we'll find the sweater, for example. Okay, and uh, sweater you can find right here. So the material sweater, you'll see diffuse color, ambient color, specular color, all these values right here. These are materials. These are the values that we have exported from uh, Character Creator three. Okay, so base color map here, you can see the strength is at 100. I had previously adjusted that one to uh, to 70. Okay, so that would be at 70 if we were exporting with the uh, with the new value. Okay, in addition to that, we'd have like the different colors and everything like that down here. Uh, and uh, all, that, all those different values you can find here as well. 
Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to import in the dude.fbx and we'll talk briefly about the materials included in the uh, high quality shader and just kind of a brief overview. We'll talk more about those in more detail in uh, future tutorials. Um, so I'm just, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my uh, project folder here and uh, create a new folder. We'll just call it uh, dude to keep the naming consistent here and we'll go into the dude folder and I'm going to import in my fbx. So I'm just going to click and drag it simply from my explore window. We're going to use make sure we use the high quality shader. Make sure that you have enable character creator and iClone auto setup uh, checked here and we'll go ahead and press OK. And in our FBX import options, the only thing different we're going to have is exported time as opposed to animated time. Since we're really only importing in a single pose, uh, once you're satisfied with all those uh, parameters there, just go ahead and select import all. All right, so once our dude.fbx is added to the scene here, we can go ahead and click and drag them and uh, throw them into our viewport here. Let's take the, uh, the pose here, dude. And in current motion, let's just uh, zero up the position of his pose and uh, turn him around 180 so he's uh, facing our camera right here, right? So we have this uh, character with the uh, beautiful skin texture um, all set up and ready to go. Let's take a quick look at the materials on our character's head. We're going to start with the ORM texture, which contains the data for the roughness, metallic, and ambient occlusion uh, values for your character's uh, skin. All right, so you can find that in the little, uh, well, in the uh, skin head uh, material ball here. And uh, down closer to the bottom under the uh, normals, you will find the ORM texture, okay? Uh, so ORM map right here. We can just go ahead and uh, take a look at that. Let's just double click it and uh, expand it a little bit here. And so the ORM texture contains different, uh, different values in the different color channels. So for red, uh, green, and blue, you can uh, notice them all here. Uh, they contain values for roughness, metallic, and ambient occlusion all uh, separately. Okay, so it's just a more efficient, uh, a more efficient texture map that contains all of those values all together. Okay, let's take a quick look at how we can adjust the uh, roughness multiplier. So again, it contains values for roughness, uh, metallic, and ambient occlusion. That means we can adjust the roughness multiplier right here if we wanted to make his uh, skin a bit shinier. We could uh, take that down, and you can see the result right there. Um, just let me go different angles here. Uh, it really don't, depends the the look you're going for. Um, we can take it to a really high level there, or you know something a bit uh, rougher, right here where the the skin will seem a, little, a bit more softer and uh, just uh, not as shiny in texture there. And one final thing I want to show you here before we uh, leave off here is the uh, character uh, the material mapping table uh, between Unreal and Character Creator. So you can see all the texture parameters um, in Unreal and what their uh, equivalents are in Character Creator. So you can use this uh, mapping, a material, material mapping table uh, as a reference for, uh, for when you're importing your character into Unreal Engine 4 and you want to uh, determine which parameters you want to modify and refine and this table will help you uh, do that. Okay, so that's all I really wanted to show you in this tutorial guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching and make sure you check out our other tutorials on importing your character creator 3 characters into Unreal Engine 4. There's a lot of materials and parameters that you can uh, mess around with to get the refined look that you want for your character. All right, so as well, make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com, and I hope to see you in the next video.